Yes, yes, people, it's your boy Shex, that's S-H-E-double-G, triple Z, and I'm back in what might be my first video of the year, 2022. It's Air Max Day, it's Air Max Month, and you know, what better way to celebrate this glorious day that Nike created for, for us to celebrate the Air Max. Um, with that being said, I'm going to be showing you guys my Air Max collection. This is the year 2022. I did a video two years ago in 2020 and it got, it, 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 did, it did decent, got some couple views. So I thought I might as well do an updated, you know, collection video. So it might be a long one, but sit back, enjoy, relax, you know, and hopefully, hopefully you guys do appreciate my Air Max collection. So I'm only going to show you guys shoes that I think you guys will care about. None of these beaters are all like everyday kind of shoes because I do have a lot of Air Maxes and a lot of them are, you know, beaters or just run around shoes because, you know, Air Max is probably like the easiest and best shoes to, you know, to work out in or even go to a motive with, with. But I'm only going to show you guys things that you guys would care about. So we're going to start this off with a shoe that I don't feel like gets enough credit when we're talking about Air Maxes, and this is the Air Max 180. I love this silhouette. The Air Max 180 is definitely in my top five Air Max models. Now, this is the Bacon colorway, and it's called Bacon, obviously, because it has similarities to um, colors associated with Bacon and the Bacon Air Max 90, which is also one of my favorite shoes. But this is the 180, and this is a very, very nice shoe. I mean, it's a brown shoe and, and pink and beige, as you can see, and the colorway just really works really well. I love the 180, and this is just such a spring-summer silhouette. All you need is a pair of shorts and a, and a vest or tee and a cap, and you're good to go. So next up, you've got an Air Max 95 of being someone from London. The Air Max 95 is one of my favorite shoes. Talk less of, you know, just Air Max models. And we've got the size Air Max 95. I think they called these 20 for 20, celebrating the, 20 for, the 20th anniversary in, I think, the year 2020, if I'm correct. And, like, this shoe is just... Pink. I mean, it kind of mimics the you know the traditional Gunsmoke pink um, Air Max ninety five, but then it kind of twists it, so you can see that speckled plat um, splatter on the midsole, and then when you turn it around, you've got some you know a gradient of blue greens, and then a gradient of like pink, red, well not really pink, <laughs> red, orange, and purple as you can see, so. Yeah, man, this is a mad shoe because, do you know what it is? It looks pretty, but it's also gritty at the same time. And, yeah, man, these are beautiful 95s, if I must say. Even the bottom, pink on there as well. And this is just definitely one of my favourite favorite 95s. Next up, we've got Air Max 1, first of many. And this is the Atmos Air Max 1 Animal Pack. And again, not much needs to be said about this shoe. I really, really like this shoe. This was a kind of update version to the original that released back in the day, maybe 2002, I can't remember the actual date, which actually had a white toe box. I obviously prefer that pair. It just looks a bit cleaner, but I was settled for this because this was one of the shoes before I got it. It was one of them shoes that I really, really wanted. The original, of course, the white toe box is a shoe that I really wanted. So in 2018, when we had the opportunity to grab these, it was a no-brainer. I should have grabbed the 95s as well, which my brother Josh has. But, you know, P's at the time was a bit, it was a bit mad. I was in uni and funds was tight. But if you do have a size 9 in the 95s, you know what to do. Shout me. Atmos Air Max 1 Animal Pack. We've got another Air Max 1, and this is what I would say, or what I'd call a recent classic. I feel like in a couple years, a lot of people are going to be breaking their necks, heads, and whatever else to try and secure a pair of these, and this is the Air Max 1 London. Now, when you look at this shoe, if you're from London, you would already be able to just see that, yeah, this pretty much just encapsulates how London looks. Just grey and grey and more grey. And <laughs> it's such a beautiful shoe at the same time. That's the thing. It's such a beautiful shoe. And the thing I like about this shoe is just the little details. I mean, you come to the back and when it focuses, you would be able to see what is the Thames or like blue stitching embroidered to represent the Thames. You've got this circle here, which is to represent the London eye. Hopefully you guys are making this out. I know it's kind of... 
blurry but is what it is and you come to this side as well and you've got that stitching just there that kind of you know represents the shard the tallest building in london the uk i think i'm not, I'm not sure about europe but yeah it's definitely tall but the air max one london was was sick it came in a kind of pack with the amsterdam pair which i did have i actually i had like two pairs at one point but i let them go because it was at the beginning of the pandemic and funds were tight so much uncertainty but that's one of the pairs or one of the shoes that I am going to go back and pick up. But, um, yeah, Air Max 1, London. Next up, we got a shoe that, you know, means a lot to me. Being from London and also appreciating the grime scene. You know, Air Maxes and grime go hand to hand. And Skepta and grime, you know, he's one of the forefathers. So, when he had the opportunity to make a 97, again, it was a no-brainer for me to grab it. And this was the first of these, you know, collaborative works with the brand and Nike. And this is the Air Max 97. This is a lot of people's favourite colourway of the 97 in recent years. Because it's just such a clean model and, you know, like the, the references that he made to you know help decide um design the shoe as mad obviously we know that the colorway kind of comes from that traditional um you know iridescent look that we got on the um, air tuned max which nike actually did bring back in lo last year i think 2021 um and yeah <laughs> it's just a beautiful shoe when you deep it i mean obviously it also had some detailing that he picked up from like you know Marrakesh so if you I was to bring out the insole which again you probably won't be able to see it has like a pattern that is you know synonymous with you know with Morocco and, and stuff like that and then also even on the insole just the, the kind of plug you know the plug with the SK at the back obviously if you're from the UK you know that's how our plugs kind of look so it's such a sick shoe and I'm happy that Nike actually allowed him to, you know, be his creative self with this shoe and add details such as that on the insole to just, you know, kind of just show like, hey, listen, this Air Max thing is a London thing and I'm going to put my spin on it. So following on from the 97s, we've got another Skepta shoe and this comes in the shape and form of the Air Max Deluxe, which is not one of the most popular, you know, Air Max models, but... This pair is pretty clean and, you know, it's got detailing that you don't commonly see on a trainer. It's legit got text. It's got writing on it. Um, got a date there, which, if I am correct, was the date that, um, was it That's Not Me was released or something like that. I cannot, I can't remember, but it was something like that. And then you've got the text that says, never sleep on tour. And then you've got this <laughs> blooded out <laughs> red red um, air bubble which is just mad and do you know what this shoe is very very clean like it's one of them shoes that you know if you're going to one of these you know if you're going to a grand motive or something like that you would wear these man you would wear these because they're just hard you know what i'm saying cool so in the year 2021 nike decided to bring back the air max bw and they've continued that into this year 2022 and we've seen a lot of banging colorways and they're not looking like they're gonna slow down they even done like the city pack which again i wasn't able to grab any of them because bloody sneakers app you know what i mean S sneakers app but um i picked up a couple i've picked up a couple and i'll show you a few of them first off i'm gonna show you this pair here which um what are they calling it again i think it's called like coded nature or like um light stone something like that but all i know this shoe is banging it is beautiful and again like the bw bw meaning big window again was traditionally one of them shoes back in the day that when i saw the olders rocking i was like i want to have these i want to have these and because they were just so hard it just looked like a hard shoe a shoe that is built for the road for you to do what you need to do so when we get a colorway like this, which is like kind of pastel colors, you're not probably going to pick up all the colors properly on the camera because of the settings. But when you get a colorway like this, it is like, it's proper nice. And it's one of them ones that I just feel like I have to grab because it's, it is a pretty shoe, but it's also hard. Do you know what I mean? And we do have another BW and this is a spin on the original, you know, Persian violet, um, og bw colorway now this is the leather pair and this came out last year 2021 and 
it wasn't it didn't drop in the uk from what i'm aware it didn't drop in the uk i had to grab them online from a resale platform um because i think it was only in asia and maybe the us that they sold but yeah this is just a spin on the you know the og persian violet b mx bw og colorway and this is hard as well i mean this is perfect because i like my persian violet so much but i don't want to mess them up in the rain and you know murky motives and all this kind of stuff so having a leather pair it makes so much sense it makes so much sense now next up we've got my only signed pair of air maxes and that's this air max 720 obj i think the colorway is actually called king of the drip or something like that i haven't even worn these yet but i did get them from free at one event um obj obviously came down and i think this was just when the, uh, the tottenham stadium was opening and yeah it was i was able to go through and grab this shoe it is very bright and very loud i'll probably bring them out this year at some point shout out to the boy for winning the super bowl as well earlier um in this year but yeah we've got the obj 720s which is a very very loud shoe but it's also very very sick as well and you know talking about the 720 model i actually do like some of the air maxes that um that Nike have brought out in recent years. Obviously, a lot of us Air Max guys kind of stick to the traditional, like, you know, the 90s, 97s, Air Max 1s, the, you know, 95s, and, you know, the traditional models. But some of the new stuff are, I rate it, I rate it. Like, you know, 720s, I like 720s, 270s, which I do have a pair here, and I'm just showing just because I wear them a lot 720s and, and then even going back a couple years as well we've got the vapor maxes as well which the, uh, the original vapor maxes let me say let me say that the original vapor maxes which i do like and again i did say that i'm not going to show you like my beaters like shoes but these are you know some silhouettes that i do like i wish we do get some you know more of the you know original vapor maxes the vapor max ones because i actually do like that silhouette moving on swiftly we've got uh another air max one and this comes in the shape or color, should I say, of the MX1 clot. Now, this is a retro of the original Kiss of Death model, which I can't even remember what year it originally came out. Maybe well, back in the day, back in the day before, you know, I had P to be collecting shoes. Now, these are hard. These are hard. My only kind of quarrel with this um with this shoe was that they kind of just I feel like they made too many pairs. I feel like they made too many pairs. And I I don't know. I don't know. As much as I'm happy to own this shoe, yeah, I feel like some Air Max models, some Air Max one iconic colorways and stuff shouldn't really be touched because it kind of just, you know, ruins its iconic status. And I'm even saying that as somebody that didn't own the original shoe. But just talking about this kiss of death, this is a, a very sick shoe. Um, Nike retro did it in 2021 and I had to pick it up because again, this was just one of those grill things for me. It's sick, it's got a lot of details. Love the outsole, love the insole as well. And yeah, man, you can't really go wrong with clot shoes. Next up, we've got these, the Basement Air Max 90s and if you don't know about the basement the basement is or was um originally a facebook group and a community for you know sneakerheads and people that are into like fashion or streetwear shall i say to kind of link up and you know it's just a community for them and this was the air max 90 and the london pair out of a pack of three i think they had um i think it was glasgow and manchester or something like that and yeah, this was the only one I picked up because this is one related to me the most being from London, of course. And just really the colours. This is, again, a very, very pain shoe. Like it is all white and grey. Again, I love details and I love like little things such as like the insole, which, you know, it says real people do real things, which you probably won't be able to see. But I mean, on the outsole, you can see that is a clear outsole, which I've kind of, you know, yellowed a bit. And then you even got like um, some replacement swooshes. As you can see here, there is a Velcro swoosh there and you can just rock them like these, which I tend to, you have the option of adding on one of these extra Velcro swooshes. So you've got a white one, a yellow one, um, sort of spare laces. You've got this iridescent one, which is probably my favorite one. And then you've also got like a gray called the Roy, 
the corduroy. Um, you've got to create corduroy material. But yeah, man, the basement shout out to them because they've done their thing. And this is just a very, very clean shoe. Stick it to Air Max 90s. We've got another Air Max 90 and one that I really, really like. This is the Air Max 90 Mars landing. And again, this was pretty much um, a second iteration of the original moon landing pair that came out in like 2015, 2014, 2015, I remember. Uni at the time. And yeah, these came out in 2019, if I can remember correctly. And, you know, of course, is a shoe that, you know, was meant to represent the whole, you know, Mars landing. And, you know, as you can see across the whole shoe, it kind of has the print of like the surface of Mars. And if you, you know, dim the lights and turn on the flash, you can see that it would have like a kind of reflective feature. I mean, the whole upper part is reflective. The Air Max 97. Like, I remember the first time I actually saw this. Again, it was one of the oldest. And, like, I just remember just preying the shoe. And it was just like, rah, rah. That the air goes around the whole shoe. But, yeah, the Air Max 97 is it's just a madness. Like, this is a silver bullet, the OG colorway. And there are rumours that they're meant to be coming out this year. But I don't know when they're planning to do that or if they are going to do that i mean it would be the 25th anniversary so i mean i can understand why people would suggest that but in terms of air max month we know that it's definitely not happening now but yeah silver bullet colorway clean you don't need to say much about it you know about it definitely one of the best air max colorways there is and so if you've got the silver bullet it's only right that we also have the gold uh, the gold bullet as well which, which you know is a very clean and you know iconic shoe and yeah man what i love about the silver bullet yeah and and the gold bullet is just the red it's the red swoosh for me yeah so i'll tell you why because it just sets the shoe off it just sets it off and the gold bullet i like it because it's got like that black accent around it but i love 97s i definitely love and i love a 97 not much needs to be said about this shoe it is a beautiful crepe but you just look at it it just gives you 90s vibes it just gives you retro vibes these originally came out in 1991 and i was not around i don't think my parents were even thinking about me being born anytime soon but this shoe right here is just clean like i said the 180 is the perfect spring entering summer shoe because it's just so lightweight they're clean the silhouette just makes so much sense in shorts the t and a cap and it looks good to go now the only thing to, i need to say about these if you do have a pair of these ultramarines you know that these are the biggest dust magnets alongside the 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 cdg moabs the white pair so next up we got a couple air max one that released last year towards the end of last year 2021 and it's none other than the Pata Air Max 1. I was able to pick up all four colorways. So I'll show you in order of my favorite, least to favorite, of course. And my least favorite is actually the Monarch, which was the first pair that actually dropped from the, you know, collection. I love this colorway, don't get me wrong. But if I'm ranking them in terms of top four, this is my least favorite one. And I'm happy that Nike, again, are allowing, you know, creative people to do creative things with even some shoes that are you know timeless and you know classic because we wouldn't have been able to get an iconic shoe like this if it wasn't for those liberties um i'll show you then my next favorite one which is the whew, it's the blue pair it's the blue pair i was thinking about it this changes a lot but currently right now is the blue pair that's my next favorite one i haven't wore these um but yeah not much needs to be said it's buff it's a buff shoe then i've also got a black pair as well which is my next favorite one now these originally my least favorite but i've worn these these are the only ones that i've actually worn out out um <laughs> and i've worn these a couple times and they're just so sick they're so sick i don't know whether it's the material is some weird kind of material i don't know what this material is yeah but this shoe is buff even when you put the white laces as well if you see these with the white or like creamish laces pops it slaps amazing and then my favorite pair my favorite pair is this pair yeah the maroon the burgundy this is the best pair if you own it if you own this pair you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about it's one of them shoes that you need to have in hand it just feels special it feels quality the rest of them are amazing colorways and probably more web not probably definitely more wearable but this one here 
just feels like it's going to just age amazingly well. Abu? It's just it's gonna age like fine wine, should I say, yeah? <laughs> like even the shoes, they even came with like this little little bag and it all came with like a little kind of chains. Okay, next up we're going back to the Air Max 97 and we've got the Air Max 97 undefeated. <laughs> a lot of people were calling these the Gucci. No, it's got nothing to do with Gucci. Yes, it's green, red and white, but this is the Air Max 97 undefeated in the black colorway you'll be happy to know this is my first my first sneakers win and to be honest i deserve that win as well because quick story i remember i was camping out in night town in london oxford street 2017 maybe it was even 2016 whatever yeah and it was just a mess if you know if you were on the strip them days you know what well, one it was just a mess yeah free for all yeah and i remember i was out a bit early but then when it got messy, it got messy. And, you know, they just wanted to just give out the wristbands as quickly as possible to get the commotion out of the way. So I wasn't able to get my wristband for whatever reason. But I was like, cool, let me go on and I can see what I go on. And luckily I struck and I was able to get these. Story done. But since then, sneakers haven't bust me. Yeah? Next up, we got one of my favourite Air Max 1s. And this is the Air Max 1 Safari. Yeah? And this, again, is a retro because I wasn't around when these, you know, when the originals were actually dropping. I was not about. I was in school. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I'm happy again that Nike, over the past couple of years, have given, you know, <laughs> newer collectors an opportunity to kind of own or taste some of these iconic Air Max 1 models. Someone like me that loves Air Maxes, the original Safari is one of my favourite Air Max models. Air Max, Air Max colorways, hands down. So I'm happy in 2016 they were able to create this, and it it, it does differ from the OG. In all honesty, obviously you got this furry toe box, <laughs> teddy bear fur, a toe box that a lot of people were shaving. But I left it because that's how it was designed and that's how it should be. And yeah, we had this glow in the dark midsole, mm, glow in the dark outsole. I do have a video on my channel, so if you want, go and check that out if you want to see how those details look. And yeah, man, the materials on these are A1. I love every detail about it. Look at that. We've got a yellow swish there and green swish there. Like, amazing shoe, amazing, amazing shoe. You've got mini swishes there as well. And, you know, anything that's got a mini swish, bang. You know what I'm saying? So, Air Max 1 Atmos Safari. We're only done, and I've only got a handful of shoes to show you guys. Um, but next up, we've got another Air Max 95, and that is the Dave White. Air Max 95 Dave White. Again, one of my favorite Air Max 95s. This colorway is amazing. It is A1, and it came from a two-pack that released, I think, in 2016, maybe 2015. Cannot remember. Um, a collaboration with Nike, Size, Size the Store, is, is a size exclusive, and... Um, Dave White, Dave White Studio, which is a design studio. And yeah, there was two pairs in this pack. There was the fox pair and a rabbit wear pe mm, rabbit pair. There's the rabbit pair. The fox pair was like orange. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but still a shoe that I would possibly like to own. So I might be, you know, looking to pick those up. If you do have those, you know what to do. Shout me, size nine. But yeah, this pair here is amazing because again, it just merges those two features. It's got the sturdiness and rigidity of an Air Max 95, yeah? With the stability of this, you know, midsole. But then it also looks cute. You've got a pink air bubble. Do you know what I mean? The colours, the beige and all of that kind of stuff. It looks cute. Peng, cute and hard. This is the Cactus Plant Flea Market Vapor Max, which has a ton of different details like i mean smiley face on the back just do it going around you've got this kind of cable <laughs> cable swoosh the laces are reflective and it's also got some other reflective features on the shoe the insole has a heat map and it has right on it telling you that this is the right foot the outsole is <laughs> um, glow in the dark. In fact, the other pair which I do have here is a different color, as you can see. And that side, that side, 
it's, it's a mad shoe. It's a very, very mad shoe. It's a loud shoe, but I like it. It's a Vapor Max as well, so it's, it's relatively comfy once you wear it in. And yeah, man, this this shoe is cold. This shoe is hard. I mean, look at that. There's so, there's so much to unpack with this shoe. There's so much to unpack with this shoe. I mean, this is so, it's a different colour as well. And it says L there, even though I've still got the that sticky thing that comes with shoes. Next up, we've got a shoe that is very, very, very hyped. Um, very, very clean shoe, very, very nice. And there's none other than an Air Max 97 1 Sean Wotherspoon. Now, this is a hybrid, a hybrid of a 97, as you can see, the 97 upper, and it's got Air Max 1 midsole outsole unit. And this shoe originally dropped in 2018. If I could, 2018, March 2018. I remember because I remember how I got these. Again, a madness at night town. But I was happy that I was able to just secure my pair. I did everything and somehow I was able to grab them. So shout out Night Town for actually coming through for this pair. But yeah. Um But yeah, I don't need to say much on this shoe because I'm sure you guys are have seen it enough times and the prices, the prices are crazy. So if you didn't pick these up back in like what 2018 or even 2019 you're gonna have to pay like a bag to grab these which is a bit mad but just going through some of the details on this shoe as you can see the colorway is very mad um the upper is actually constructed of a cord material or cordway because sean Wotherspoon's whole idea is that he wanted the shoe to age like kind of thing you know how cord um cordway kind of phrase and stuff like that he wanted it to be like to have like kind of a vintage kind of feel to it obviously being an owner of round two which is a kind of resale vintage vintage store he wanted to add that kind of feature to the shoe. And as you can see, he executed it A1. The execution is mad. Like the outsole bangs as well. Don't mind me, it's a bit dirty. Um, it comes with this removable tongue tab, which they, there is a spare, but I cannot be asked to show you guys. And yeah, it's got swoosh on the there. And the laces, the aglets are two different colors. You've got gold and uh, silver, if you can make it out. Um, you got LA to VA there, which if I can remember is to do with, you know, where um two of the round two stores are, Virginia and LA. But yeah, man, this shoe is just A1. This is an amazing shoe. Not much needs to be said about it, even though I've said so much and I'm rambling on. The Air Max 97 1 Sean Wolver Spoon. I remember mentioning the Bacon Air Max 90 back in my past video on 2020 when I was talking about the Air Max 180, which I've showed you in this video. But I'm happy to say that I actually have the shoe here now in my collection. Arguably one of my favorite Air Max 90s of all time. I'm happy that Nike actually brought these back and brought these out in the year 2021. 2021? 2021. I'm happy that they brought it back <laughs> regardless. And... This shoe is just amazing. Obviously, it's called the bacon because the colorway kind of, you know, is meant to represent colors that are involved or associated with bacon, whether it's raw or cooked. You know, one of the most coveted Air Max 90s of, you know, of all time. And I'm happy that they, you know, brought these back and people like me were able to, to grab these as well. My only thing is that I feel like they just made too many pairs and the quality control of these was a bit poor. But at the same time, for me, I didn't really mind it because I just felt like even a shoe like this doesn't necessarily need to be polished. Despite that being said, the price, you know, the price should also be a reflection of the quality as well. So not do better in that department. But thank you for bringing these back. Thank you for bringing these back. So we got an Air Max 98 in the Gundam colorway, the OG colorway and the very iconic colorway. They brought these back in 2018 and I was able to pick them up alongside the tall yellow pair, which I did have and I sold and I regret selling it because it's so impossibly hard to find a pair. Even finding a pair of these is it's relatively hard. It's relatively, relatively hard. I'm just annoyed because I wish I doubled up on some of these shoes. But again, I was in uni at the time studying. So, you know, funds. I didn't have the luxury of, you know, just buying everything and anything. Do you know what I mean? But I'm happy that I'm an owner of this shoe because it's just an amazing shoe. It's, it's cold. And I'm happy that I haven't actually beaten them up too much. Like, it's been four years that I've had these, which is mad to say, four years already. But, um, yeah, I'm happy that they're in good condition and the colorway is just so sick as well. It's just kind of just represent the 90s again. Like, look at the bright blue, yeah, yellow, um, yellow, 
<laughs> blue, blue, red, and white. Like it's just a clean, clean colorway. Obviously called the Gundam because of his relations to the you know the TV show Gundam, one of the characters. But yeah, Gundam Air Max ninety eight. The Air Max BW was mentioned before, and we've got the OG colorway, Persian violet. Woof, this shoe. This shoe is up there for me, man. This shoe is so cold. The colorway is so iconic. This colorway is so iconic. Like, it just reminds me of primary school days. I used to see everybody wearing these. Of course, I didn't have it because asking my parents to buy a pair of shoes that are, you know, £100 plus or whatever. It's definitely a no when you're from a Nigerian background. But BWs are hard, man. Now, like, keep bringing out some good colorways. Now we've got one of the best shoes ever created by Sergio Lozano and it is the Air Max 95 in the OG neon colorway. Wow, I feel to just lick the bottom of this sole even though I've worn this shoe several times. But just look at this shoe, man. Come on, like, look at it. Look how the neon just pops on this shoe. Like, it is an amazing shoe. This shoe is too buff. Like... I'm sure you've seen these plenty of times on the streets and the ends. You probably even own a pair as well if you're from London. But yeah, man, Air Max 95 Neon must always be in my collection. I must always have a pair. So shout out Nike for bringing these back and bringing them out. And finally, to end this video, I've got a pair of Air Max 90s in the OG infrared colorway. Again, iconic. Not a lot needs to be said because you've seen these, you possibly own them or, you know, it's just a shoe that is just so classic and iconic. I don't think there's anything on an Air Max more iconic than, you know, this infrared on a 90 or the neon on the 95. Like, it is just, it's crazy. They made it true to the OG. The shape is how the OGs were. And, I mean, <laughs> even down to the name of the colour. They went back to calling it Radiant Red. So I shouldn't even really say Infrared. But yeah, the Air Max 90 Infra Radiant Red. Yeah, classic, clean and iconic. So here you have it, guys. My Air Max collection. A pretty long video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys were able to get through the whole of it. Comment Air Max down below if you did. And yeah, have a happy, happy Air Max day, Air Max month. Enjoy your shoes. And I will catch you guys on the next one.